Good morning, fries. So we are done with the repairs. Now we're trying to get into the water really quickly. We're gonna have to try and do everything that we were gonna do this past month in that time frame. We have to plan our first days out. We need to look at the charts and a couple of other things to find out about the currents around here. So it should be in a fast and furious next five days, but they'll be fun. There's no finding a rot, so that'll be fun. Cut to two minutes later when Spencer said, I just have to sand this patch. And I come out to find this. Well, eventually I'm going to sand it. I just have to tear it apart first. What happened? Yeah, I was sanding and then my sander went through some old rotted wood. So like, it's the cleat that holds up the floorboards. floorboards. Yep. Oh, no worry about that little spot in the wall either. We'll just take care of that. That's okay. It's no big deal though. I'm like almost done. So after Spencer finishes fixing that one rot spot that he just found, we are going to head to Olympia because there is a dinghy motor there on Craigslist. And then we might stop by Costco to provision. So today is basically an errand day and fixing that little rot bit day. <laughs> That's a good ride. Yeah, they're nice and motor. So what we have is a little eight foot um, fiberglass dinghy, so it's interesting size of a walker bay. Mm -hmm. I mean, probably recommended for that. Is this too big for it? No. That'd be okay? Yeah. Okay, now we're headed to Costco to get the essentials. What SPF are you getting? Seven. You know we're going north to Alaska, right? Those are white kids. We haven't had TV in a while, and uh, this is where I found Spencer. He's mesmerized. These TVs are astounding. Is this what you guys are watching us on right now? It's like real life. I want to live through that TV. I think we got enough shit. Let's go see how it. Open now, get it, help. We can do all those tomatoes. I have no idea. There's so many. Now that I'm like putting them in a row, it's like. That's a lot of fucking tomatoes. Do you even eat tomatoes? I haven't <laughs> used a can of tomatoes in like months. <laughs> but all the books say, like, when you're cruising, make sure you bring tomatoes. You can make a lot of Um, If you couldn't tell by the immense size of my hair today, it's really hot here. I could hide the cat in this hair. You wanna get the name? Yeah. That looks pretty dope. Really? Um, down? I think we should go, I think you're down with the height. Okay. But we should go forward to two feet. Yeah, like right there. This is titanium, you know? You know? Do you wanna know? 
Do you know? know? <laughs> Let's get my dance. I did it first. What are you doing? I'm going to go Looking hot. Mm-hmm. Don't have to tell me. <laughs> yeah, it's real recognized, real. Oh yeah, look at that. Sick. Let's straight from a block away. Oh, yeah. oh, you'll never see that. If that's no. the thing you're focusing on, I'm about a lot worse things to look at. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Ta -da. <laughs> huh? Nice. Did I just spell millennial? I spelled I would have spelled it so much so differently. <laughs> I googled it like six times Did you? to make sure, yeah. Because I, I mean, was like, oh man, we're gonna look like such an asshole. You already look like an asshole, but if you spell millennial More, wrong, it's yeah. like it. There are certain things on a boat that just annoy the shit out of you, and so one of those things is our cushions that we got. They do this thing where they slide down and out, so as you're sitting, you're just like, it's very annoying. So, I'm going to tack on another project in uh, normally Spencer fashion and gonna sew on little things and tabs and new zippers and hopefully keep them from sliding. <laughs> Coconut. That sounds like coconut. Gross. Did we buy a whole case of coconut? Well, half of the case. Yeah. If you don't like it, I'll drink it. Can you try it? No. Nope. Well. When do you think Lacroix will sponsor us? Dude, that'd be so sick if we got sponsored by Lacroix. <laughs> they they can put their name on the side of the boat. Yeah. So tired. Why are you tired? And I'm not. Because I don't work as hard. Why is it? Five. Where, where the hell's five at? Over down here? After four. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, fries. So today we are planning our departure. Planning sesh, numero uno. Should I get a notebook for lists? You should probably get an input for lists. Yes. Do you want to make a list of the lists? Yes! <laughs> of course I do. This is trying to figure out when we're going to get in the water, like what day. So you know what? So the facets that play into that are weather. Yep. The office schedule, I guess we're putting us in. Maybe um, tides. Tides, maybe. We're hitting we the... I, I, I did see online that this is like the biggest tide of like the season coming up soon. Oh, good. Our project's being completed. Mm-hmm. And then the car, and not, storing the car. And not finding any more rot. Yeah. Just don't look. Yeah. We decided that we are going to anchor not too far from here the first night. It's in Elgar. Yeah, so that'll be our first night. And I don't think it's very, it's not far at all. I think it's like seven miles. Sounds perfect. Just to kind of get in the water and at an anchorage. It's in 48 feet of water, so that should be fun with the new anchor. I picked the deepest bit. Yeah, thanks for getting the <laughs> deepest one. All right, so the plan is to be put in the water on the 29th. All right, is that a sesh? Yeah. Good planning session, guys. Is that you want? Yeah, I was going to give it a high five. Okay. Not just like you're going to grab them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get you. Uh, Do it. Good planning session, guys. High five them. Boop. Ow, fuck. <laughs> when did you get so jacked up? Cat's like sleeping and shit. Cat, that? you gotta fucking need to work, cat. Yeah, you don't live for free here, you buffalo. <laughs> buffalo. Yeah. 